and welcome welcome back to my channel so the other day I asked my friends some questions and I didn't actually get to answer all of them because I wanted to make a separate video uh, talking about those uh, different topics so today I actually wanted to talk about everything about beauty in Korea so self-esteem like the products how my products have you uh, have changed the products that I use for skin care and also makeup and also just like my general perspective on uh, Korean standards of beauty so yes let's go right ahead um, I want to talk about what I think about Korean standards of beauty so obviously Korea is known for being the capital for plastic surgery of the world um, but I actually think I don't know like they're, the way that they consider things beautiful obviously is very subjective to each country even um, but it's still very let's just say Eastern like Eastern mentality right so they like the pale skin the dark black hair or long hair um, I think that I don't know I, like they probably think that Western culture is weird for wanting to tan and uh, wanting to wear really dark shades of lipstick and things like that so I I, I just I feel like to each its own um, when I first got here I never felt like I needed to adapt to their standards of beauty if that makes sense like I've never felt like oh you need to be lighter oh you need to do this or you need to do this to like become beautiful um, I think that Yes, sometimes I would be like, am I considered like really dark like in Korea? My kids called me Moana one time. Moana, it's really cute. It's, you know, it's very innocent. Like I was playing Moana and they're like, teacher, it's you. But I'm like, oh my god, girl. But like all my life I identified as Mulan. Anyway, <laughs> but I am a Morana beauty, you know? So um, I never felt self-conscious about my skin tone in Korea and even like just my facial features because I knew that I looked different um, and I stood by that so I feel like in the beginning um, it did kind of like dishearten me that whenever I would go to beauty stores like they didn't have the shade that I was looking for um, but at the same time I just realized these makeup products are not made for me right so I just learned to realize that over time and I'm adapted to that now so I just know that when someone is going abroad like I'm gonna ask for concealer and things like that things that I need it's plastic surgery how has my uh, thinking changed about plastic surgery from when I lived abroad and now okay so I think plastic surgery now honestly I think it's fine um, again to each its own but I think that certain people do want it for self-confidence and if that's gonna help them make themselves feel better then by all means go for it um, in Korea the most common um, the most common plastic surgery that they get is the eyelid surgery and uh, although I think that personally I don't think there's anything wrong with monolids I think that Koreans are very self-conscious because they have a lot of like even just cosmetic products that like tape your eyelids and things like that and I mean if it's accessible and you can do it and you want to do it then go ahead and do that but other things like reconstructive surgery like the shaving down of like jaws and things those ones I think are still I think those are pretty extreme all like the cheekbone surgery like those ones yeah I don't know about that but little things like nose surgery like some Koreans they just like or not just Koreans but in general like some people they just don't feel that their nose is as nice as the, it, it could be and the nose is the center of your face it could change everything um, yeah I feel like go for it I mean it's not totally like a bad thing if it's gonna make you feel better right um, one of my friends asked me like do people know right away that I'm a foreigner so this is kind of like a different thing because I'm obviously Asian and um, I feel like sometimes people are confused here that I don't speak Korean um, however I, I think that they know 
I'm pretty sure that they know I'm not Korean. Uh, it's it's confusing for me too because when I when I was in Canada, a lot I always get Korean, but I feel like I look very Filipino. I don't know. I just I'm like hella Southeast Asian, like. Just the skin tone gives it away and I'm hairy. I don't know if you guys can see but I actually have hair on my arms. So um, I feel like when people look at me They already know that I'm not Korean, but they try to speak Korean to test it out just to make sure but also I think that there are a lot of foreigners who can speak Korean here. So um, if I did start speaking Korean to them, um, if I could speak fluent Korean, because as soon as I open my mouth, they know for sure that I'm not Korean. Um, yeah, they expect people to just know, obviously, duh, like I live in their country, I should speak Korean. But I think their first impression, like I think I look Westerner right away, like my sharp eyebrows gives it away, my really, you know, um, like bold makeup I always almost always wear like bronzer so like Koreans don't really wear bronzer but yeah I think that uh, Western beauty stands out here anyway so I think that people know right away that I'm not Korean from how I changed my makeup and skincare okay so I actually have my old makeup bag so this is like I've had this for literally like six years since university and I'm gonna show you guys that literally I don't own or we'll count how many things I own that's Korean okay so this is my holy grail um, Too Faced natural face palette which has all my bronzers and highlighters um, that I use I also have um, other blush and bronzers but this is the one that I use most of the time Okay, Koreans don't really wear blush or sorry bronzer, so I even my skin tone. We'll talk about that later. Um, okay, I have this is my concealer. Um, I am NC35, so NC35 does not exist in Korean like road shops. So like any of the Korean road shops that are very accessible to me, like Innisfree, Etude House. They don't have my shade and I don't wear foundation and I only wear concealer so their concealer is like literally I like it's just it's so pale so I always have to get mine from America or Canada or duty-free like just anywhere Western brands that they have this shade so I have two of those I have the studio fix one and I have I don't even know what this one but this is also Mac NC 35 um, I have my Tarte Mascara, okay, not Korean. Okay, here we have this is my first Korean brand that I saw in my makeup bag Innisfree. This is like a chapstick uh, Lip lip balm tinted lip balm thing. Okay. I love that thing though. I love it because it's red I'm not wearing it today, but I just have it in here again another Mac concealer NC 35 um, Okay, this one is Korean. I'm wearing this today. It's eyeshadow um, make and wake can't focus this is not a beauty video anyway um, okay these things yes eyeliner and eyebrow pencils these are I don't need a shade for this so it's very easy to get and I pretty much just go to whichever um, road makeup row shop is close to me and I just buy an eyeliner if I'm out and uh, eyebrow pencil so this is Nature Republic, this is Innisfree, this is Innisfree um, eyeliner, black eyeliner, and eyebrow pencils. Next one is my Urban Decay uh, setting spray. Still have this. This is like, uh, I, I bought a lot of these, like the travel size ones, because I can just put it in my bag. I bought like six of these before I left Canada. Okay, I have another of that eyeshadow. This is also Korean. Uh, different shade and um, my Fenty Beauty gloss and the last thing in here is my Curl Fix mascara by Etude House so this is also Korean um, and yeah anything that doesn't require shade I guess I could have just said that anything that doesn't require shade yes I can buy here beauty products but other than that um, I still trust 
my Western brands better. So for concealer and um, bronzer and blush. However, I would like to add that from time to time, I do wear colored contact lenses and it's something that I just enjoy wearing as a cosmetic accessory, just like makeup. So I know nothing about skincare still, even though I've been here. But I, everything that I um, use on my face is now officially all Korean. I have like researched all the things, all the products that I use, but I still can't tell if this is like something I would recommend for everyone because again, I have no idea about skincare. But since people were wondering what I use now, I'm going to show you. So my skin type is very sensitive. That's why I don't wear any foundation because I feel like it would just like mess it up. Um, it's sensitive, also uh, sometimes dry on some seasons. So uh, with that being said, I have mostly like uh, moisturizing products and some of these are even empty. And um, I think that one of the problems that I have is also like my dark circles around my eyes, which is why I wear Hella Concealer. So with that being said, these are the things that I use. Um, I wash my face every morning and night. No, that's a lie, not morning, only at nighttime. Um, with either of these two cleansers, one is my snail solution. This takes off makeup pretty well. It says, formulated with snail secretion. Filtrate penetrates deep into pores without over drying to gently remove makeup. This is by Nature Republic. It was probably like 10 bucks. I don't remember, but I like this. Um, but sometimes I do feel like it's super like thick when you put it on, like really like snaily, you know? Um, so I usually only use that when I'm wearing like um, a lot of makeup. Um, and then the next one, this one I use almost every day, which is the Real Fresh Foam Green Tea by Neogen. It has like green tea stuff in the bottom. This one is good. I feel like this is super drying. So right, it like strips your face. So right after this, I really need to like moisturize right away. Um, before all of these cleansers, I used to use the Cosrx Low pH something something. It's really famous uh, cleanser. I actually really like that. I want to buy that again, um, but I want to finish these products first. CK Deep Cleansing Oil. I think it looks like the other cleansing oil. I think it's like DHC or something. I know nothing about this stuff, but it's almost finished, but I don't think I would repurchase again. It's not that it's bad, but I just prefer a different. It's too heavy, it's too thick. Um, I used to use the rice water cleansing oil by face shop and when I finish this that's what I would be purchasing again okay these two are actually my life like I love these two products um, but I'm still waiting to finish my other ones this is the Laneige uh, essential power skin refiner and the essential balancing emulsion moisture oh my god this smells so good I've literally used the entire bottle so I have to like open it now it smells so good. I love this stuff because uh, it's very moisturizing and fresh on your face. Um, so yeah, in this free green tea, this is what I'm currently using. It's almost finished. Actually, this lasted me way shorter than the Laneige one. I don't know why, but I've only had these for like, I only opened this for like three months and it's almost finished. But this is the skin and this is the lotion. It also has a moisturizer, but I took it on a trip and I don't know where it is now. I like it, but I don't like it as much as the Laneige one. I don't know why. I don't know my explanation. It's not as like... Okay, I feel like with the Laneige one, my face is a little bit more like uh, bouncier and supple. Is that a word? Um, and the last thing is this rose water toner by Mamond. This is the second time I purchased this, um, but I don't use it as much. I only use this maybe, honestly, once a month, if I have to be honest. Um, I always forget to use this one, and I only remember it when I'm like hungover or like I'm really tired and I need to like brighten my skin. Um, yes, but I frequently use masks now, maybe twice a week. Um, my favorite brand is Mediheal. So this one, I always have it in my fridge. It's the PDF one. I like the PDF and I believe it's NMF, 
I don't know what they stand for. I just know that I like these products. And also this brand called Abib. Um, their products are super cool, like packaged. Um, you can see the mask in there. So this one is the green tea one. As you can see, I like green tea. Um, and also tea tree oil is one of my favorite ones. Oh yes, Mediheal has a tea tree oil one and it's bomb. I think um, masks are like the easiest way to boost your skin and this is something that I learned in Korea um, when I'm really tired and I like need to pick me up in the morning I do this and when I want to relax at night before I go to bed I also put on a mask so I just I honestly I love masks so much that is it from me today guys thank you again for watching this video please don't forget to comment subscribe like share and I will see you later Annyeong.